Hey YouTube, well I'm here to do uh, James Caldwell's tag, but uh, first I gotta tell you this little story. Something that just happened to me. I've been a victim of abuse, but it just happened. I want to tell you, tell somebody while it's still fresh in my mind. Okay, so I took my dog. We have a dog park about a block from here. Cute little dog park, but it has no gates around it, right? And so most of the dogs in the park are off leash. Most of them are well-behaved dogs. They just go to the park. They, the owner throws their ball and he brings it back and all that kind of stuff. And there's many dogs. Sometimes there's, I don't know, 30 dogs that are in the evening, right? So my dog loves to go to that park. So I took him to the park. But my dog, I, he's not off leash, not yet. Uh, he snaps at things too easily. I mean, I'm scared he's going to go running off out of the park. I've had it happen before. It's horrifying, right? So he's still on leash. But the majority of the dogs are off leash. So I, this cute little dog comes over to us. He likes Jimmy, I mean Squeeny. He loves dogs. So he doesn't have a problem with any dogs. He hadn't gotten in a fight with any dogs at all. This little dog came around him. And the dog kept chasing him around. But he, Jimmy was on leash. Squeeny was on leash. Right? And the dog wanted to play. So they go around and around a couple of times. And then the dog started sniffing at my, at my leash that I had on, on him. Right? Like he was telling me, he look at me, and then he would start sniffing the leash. Like I was supposed to let, take him off leash so he can play, like all the other dogs in the park, right? So I was telling the dog, no dog, he can't come off. He can't. I'm trying to communicate with the dog. <laughs> Child looked down, and that dog raised his hind leg and pissed all over my leg. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I guess I didn't respond in the way that he wanted me to respond. <laughs> so then, the time I yelled his ass, he had ran all the way across the park. But I thought that was so interesting because there was obvious communication in there, right? He wanted to play. He wanted him off the leash. I refused to take him off the leash. And that dog raised his leg and pissed all over my leg and shoe. <laughs> okay, that's my little gem for the day. Now I'm going to try to uh, respond to uh, James Caldwell's tag, right? He tagged several people. I guess the mission is to answer these questions as 15 questions. Uh, it seemed like a lot of them didn't apply, but I'm going to, in the spirit of of cooperation, I'm going to try my best, James Caldwell, to answer all these questions. Okay, 15 questions. Question one, a car or a SUV? For me, the, the real answer would be neither one, really. I live in San Francisco. I live right in, the train is right in front of my window. I have no desire at all to own either a car or SUV. Maybe, well, I ain't going to go into all that, but I don't want one. But in the spirit of answering the questions, if someone were, were to give me a vehicle, give me a vehicle, free and clear, no car note, no insurance, <laughs> no no gas, especially in this town, no parking. I don't have to pay for parking either. If I had, it, I could take one, I'd take a car over an SUV. I have no use for an SUV. It's only me, so I don't have kids i don't have anybody to move around and i don't buy pounds and pounds and pounds of groceries plus i live next door to safeway so i don't i don't see a purpose in a car i've had opportunities to have a car before and in this town is, is i just see it as a burden but i answered the question i make the effort chicken or fish are you talking about human chicken oh, oh, oh. let's assume you're talking about meat okay oh i just thought of something wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> In the Urban Dictionary, oftentimes, don't take offense, but oftentimes women are referred to as fish, right? A woman is she's a fish, a, a, a biological woman. And a chicken would be a young person, not an illegal person, but a younger person. It might be 20 years old would be a chicken, right? So it could be taken more than one way. But l let's assume that he's talking about food, chicken. I don't mind fish every once in a while. Chicken, of course, you only got three meats you can choose from. So I eat that more than anything else. Number three, a son or a daughter? See, some of these questions are hard for me to ask. I've never had the desire to have either one. But if I had to choose one, I have to go with when I go and get my, no, don't get offended, people. Then you, can, yeah, you guys can't be taking stuff personally, right? When I go and get my animals, the dogs, right? I always say the requirements are they must be a boy dog and they must be young. 
I wanted one year old, but this uh, little monster is three years old. Well, he wasn't a little monster. His friend was a monster today. Anyway, young and male. I don't know why I always wanted a male dog. Uh, uh, my whole lifetime, there's only been three dogs. And they've all been males. So I imagine if I had to choose a child, then it would probably be a male as well. Just just for relatable cause reasons. Okay, so I've chosen. I'm answering the questions. Okay. Hoops are studs. <laughs> These things are so weird for me. I've never had an earring in my ear. But when I look at other men, I guess I would say a tiny little hoop is, is best. I don't think that looks better. I like I I guess they don't do it anymore, but a lot of times black guys were wearing these two tiny hoop earrings. I like that look, so I would have to say hoop. Okay, sat satin or velvet. Now can you imagine me in either satin or velvet? Come on, James Caldwell. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, okay, if I had to pick a, a satin or a velvet robe, my true answer would be neither. But if I had to take one, I guess satin would be, be kind of vampirish, much more so than velvet. No, velvet. Velvet would be the vampire, right? Like the old guys used to wear velvet smoking jackets and things. Men have been known to wear velvet as opposed to satin. Satin is too silky. Kind of womanish for me. Velvet is the answer. Number six, uh, a date or a run through. I don't even have the energy for a run through. So I, I <laughs> back in the day, I, I, I could see what a, how a run through would come in handy. But the idea of me going meeting some stranger on the street, going behind a bush somewhere and propping my, put my pants down, I can't even imagine what that's like. <laughs> As I, I was, as I was going into my old age, the few last few times I tried to have casual sex, I don't want that. So it'd have to be the other. Or which was it? A date. I'd rather go on a date. I'd rather have the possibility that it would be somebody that I would see again. We would have to, he would have to uh, slowly move me into the sex. I, I just don't see just, you know, booty calls and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's, I'm past that time. All right, now, can I decline? Okay, I only decline one. <laughs> I'm only going to decline one of your questions. Colwell. A lick or a stick? Now, I decline, honey. I, I just can't imagine. I guess I, I do like popsicles. So, so if it can apply to a popsicle, I'll go with lick. But uh, other than that, I would have to decline. Basketball or football? Neither one. I don't like sports. He said he didn't want just one one word answers. My family, they were all all the men were athletic, right? And most of the men were they played basketball. That was the thing that they played. So some of my uncles played that. I had a couple of uncles that were stars on their basketball team. So I was more familiar with basketball than than football. But I never liked either one of them. There were no males in, in my immediate family to, to teach me those things, and I was always felt subconscious on those courts or fields. But I chose one. Number nine, hip hop or R and B? Have to be R and B. Hippity hop. I just. I mean, there are songs that, that that have a snappy little tune to them and things like that. And most of the uh, the R and B, I'm not even familiar. Do they even make hardly R and B anymore? Of course, all the songs from my past would be R and B. So those songs I can certainly relate to much more so than what's going on now. But my main thing is is uh, is uh, gospel, so we'll just do our best to answer the question as best we can. Ten slow slow dancing or fast dancing? You mean to look at? I definitely not, not slow dancing with nobody. I wouldn't even do that when I was young. So, and fan dance, fan dancing, you no, know, it makes me hurt even thinking about it. Fast dancing, so my hips and thighs and everything hurts me. It hurts me to think about it. So. But in the spirit of choosing one, I would say I would like to watch someone uh, fast dancing. I like to see young people move every once in a while, although I don't have the patience to be in, in the club nowhere. So anyway, a ballot or a bop, I don't even know what that is. Uh, 
a ba- I, don't, I said I'm only going to decline on one. I already used it up. So a ballad or a bop. What is that? I guess a ballad would be a ballad song. Beautiful song, you know, Whitney Houston or something like that. I guess she sang ballads, torch song. I would choose that over a bop. I, what is a bop? Is that like rap? My guess, ballad. ballad. Okay. Number 12, short hair or long hair? Okay, on someone else? Well, on myself, I have no choice. It's got to be short. It ain't never grown no longer than this. But uh, on other people, I kind of like some long hair on some people. I think these young people look cool with the, the dreads and all that. I like white guys with long hair as opposed to short hair. Uh, I don't know. You know, some women, I, I like to see see them in, I prefer natural hair to, to these long, long wigs. But, you know, it doesn't really apply to me. Right. So, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to answer that, that that way. I would say on some people, short hair looks better. On some people, long hair looks better. Whether it's uh, natural, is hair attached to the root of your head or it's been applied there. Still. I don't know. Some people, short hair is beautiful. Holly Berry. Okay. Number three, horror or sci-fi? I hate both of those. I don't like neither one of them. What do you do then? But you, if you have to choose one, in the spirit of cooperating, I don't like horror movies. Although I love the, ex, they, they call the, uh, the Exorcist a horror movie. Right? And in that recent movie, they had Get Out. That was considered a horror movie. So I guess a uh, horror movie, if I had to make a choice, I don't like things to scare me though. Uh, sci-fi, I never liked it. 14, drama or comedy? I definitely go with drama, a good drama. Good drama. I would prefer over comedy, but if it's just, uh, if they're both bad, probably just something silly. You know? I don't like things that are going to take me and bore the shit out of me the whole movie. So I would say a good drama. I prefer. Uh, 15, scripted or reality? I hate reality shows. But when I say hate reality shows, there are some reality shows like HGTV. Those are reality shows as well. There are different kinds of, I mean, cooking shows, although that's not my thing, but still cooking shows, those are reality TV. Anything where people are participating, those are reality shows. Even... You could even consider these some of these um, competition shows, reality shows. So, but I don't like reality TV at all. And I believe a lot of it is scripted. I mean, you imagine somebody just following you around every day as you go to the bathroom, go to the store, go to the mailbox. You had to kind of spice it up. So I don't see how, how it could not have some kind of script. But... Uh, so we have to stay scripted for regular television. Right now, I'm enjoying How to Get Away with Murder, starting from the very first episode. Okay, and number scripted or reality. Okay, I did that. Number 16, the very last question. This is an add-on because you said it was 15 questions. Who are you tagging? I don't know. Oh, I got to try to think of names now. Okay, I can tag. I'll just tag. Let's say three people. Let's tag Jay Wilson and and uh, what's that other boy's name? <laughs> Wait a minute. I may be messy. Hold on. What do I say? I say Jay Wilson. Okay. The other one would be Larry. <laughs> Larry. Larry. <laughs> what's that guy's name? Who is Larry? God damn it. Whoever he's he's having his feud with, him, Larry, whatever his name is, the one who I had a little one day thing with. You know who you are. You answer. I know you like to type. You like to, to participate. So I'm including you. You answer these questions. And what other person? What other person do I know that, that their whole name? Who they would be? And let's put in King Jives. King Jives, you are tagged as well. So I'm hoping since I'm only a. a uh, Asking three that you guys will participate. Okay, I made it in under 50. 
Uh oh, 15 minutes exactly. Gracias. See you later.